Hi, we're Shakespeare Art Studio. I'm Phoebe. And I'm Phoebe's mum, Francesca. We've been coming up with ideas for you to try at home. Find us on Instagram, Facebook and YouTube. Right, so we're going to have a go at marbling. The idea is we want to create a lovely front cover and back cover for our notebook that we're going to make. Um, now, there are various ways that you can marble. We have done a bit of research and we've also been experimenting. And the method that we're going to use is using some old, um, sticky old oil paints that we're going to mix with white spirit and then dropping them into a basin of just regular water. So the first thing we're going to do is um, choose our oil paint colours. You can mix them, that's also fine. Um, but the idea is you want to dilute them with white spirit. Um, white spirit is essential in this process because it will also become the way in which you can clean everything, including your hands. So do make sure you have white spirit before you start. First thing we're going to do is take a little, we're using some old cream pots. Um, you're just going to squeeze into the pot the um, oil paint, mixing the oil paint with the white spirit to create a ink consistency. Do this with all your colours and have them ready. Right, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to fill our cooking dish here with water. Um, so what I suggest is you do it about a fingernail deep and then um, that should be enough to marble onto. So I'm just using regular paper here um, that I've cut to fit to the basin because it will make it a lot easier to work with. So you need to make sure that the water is still before you start. I've got my pipettes ready, but you can just drop it in with a paintbrush. The idea is you want to drop the paint onto the very surface of the water. You don't want it to fall beneath. This will allow you to play around with it. And then I'm just going to use a barbecue stick to start disrupting the water surface. And as you do this, you can see it starts to build up a kind of pattern. And then when you're happy with where it's at, you're going to get your paper, you're going to place it down onto the surface and make sure all the corners are submerged. And then you're going to quickly lift it up and place it down. So when you lift the paper up, most of the ink actually does come off the water with your first print, but there is some left over. So rather than draining the water, I suggest you use a blank page of paper, print it in, lift it off, and you can chuck that one away. And you should just be able to keep going like that. Following on from Phoebe's marbling, I'm going to turn that paper into a little notebook. As a child, every week I had to help my father make handmade notebooks around the kitchen table. And you can see that I used to write stories in them, diaries, um, recipe books, address books. Okay, so the first step is to uh, find some cardboard to create the cover. So here I've got some. And then the pages will be half the A4, so an A5 folded like that. That is our size of the inside of our book. So the cover needs to be just a little bit bigger than that so that the pages sit neatly inside of the cover. Bend it like that and that will create the cover of the uh, book. So the next stage is to select your cover and we've decided to use these uh, bits. So I'm actually going to glue these two pieces together. So pasting is really important to know how to do this. So you need some newsprint or newspaper or old paper below and then you get your PVA glue and it's very important to go from the middle right out to each edge and beyond, just onto your rough paper underneath. So when you've done that, you carefully pick it up, you discard your rough paper and you lay this down, ready to put the card on. So, cutting the corners off is quite an important part of the process. You want to go straight across, not absolutely cutting to the corner, but just within a millimetre or so. 
and then you can fold the edges over, opposite and opposite, and then opposite and opposite. So there I've got that. And that is basically the cover ready. That is going to be where we sew right through into the spine. So I'm actually going to start by going in here, which is all going to be covered. And I'm going to push through to where the knot will sit comfortably there. I'm going to come in through the cardboard and hopefully into the fold of the paper. And then I'm going to do that again. And let's go back again. Now, end papers are very important because they're going to tidy it all up and they're going to further secure the leaves of the book onto the cover. So as you can see, in the one we made earlier, we used um, plain pink, but I'm going to select two more pieces of Phoebe's Lovely Marbling. So we need to prepare the end paper. And you can see, if I cut it to this size, it will be the same size as the page and it will leave a little bit of edge here. The next step is to paste our end papers onto our book. And you've already learned how to do good pasting. Make sure you get those edges. And I'm going to start with the page because I want it to kind of line up with the page. Now, another thing I didn't explain at the beginning, but if you want to have the little ribbon, this is the time to put it in and give it a nice generous amount inside and maybe even another dab of glue because that will be what holds the ribbon in. So this is now ready to put under a weight so that it will dry nice and flat.